Today we'll be installing the MySQL servers in active active replication mode. Now the purpose of this training will be to show you how you can set up the two MySQL servers and set the replication active active. That means both servers can take the information and then both servers can replicate to each other and both servers will have the same information. As a place where we're going to do the exercise, we're going to use Oracle Cloud. Oracle Cloud provides always free tier where you can utilize the resources and as long as you keep them in the always free tier area, you can continue using those resources with no charge for the future. Let's where to sign. Okay, go to Oracle Cloud, oracle.com cloud slash free and you can sign from this page. You can start for free. You don't have to set up your uh, your credit card. You will have to add the credit card during the uh, setting up the process for verification purpose, but Oracle will not charge you. Once you set up, you have a three days trial where you have uh, more resources available and $300 budget to spend towards the uh, those additional resources. Now, which in the free tier you have two AMD servers and uh, up to four instances of ARM Ampere uh, compute, which is like 3000 uh, 3, hours of the OCPU, including the 200 gigabyte uh, space. Now, with those resources, we can set up two AMD servers or we can set up up to four ARM servers with 50 gigs each. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, we'll be do using the AMD or ARM, depending which we will be able to install. I will show you how to set up both and, and then we'll just set up two servers which, gonna, which we're gonna use for exercise. Is this important at this moment? Which servers will you use? For the exercise purpose, if you do the installation or AMD or ARM servers, this will be the same installation process. There will be no difference and MySQL will work either on either one type that you can use how to install you can learn how to install and you can learn how to set up the replication and then exercise with replication uh, replication for MySQL. Okay. I prepare already account. I log into my test account in San Jose. And here, the first thing which we want to do is to set up the compartment. compartments. Now, why we want to set up compartment? Because if we're going to grow and we're going to build up on this network, you want to organize your network in some logical structure. At this moment, if this is just the test environment for you, it is really not that important, but it's good to start with the right habit to build, to organize the resources in compartment. Compartment is the logical area where you can group the resources that for example you can have the compartment uh, r d development qa production and in each compartment compartment will be isolated whatever is uh, resources you have which in this compartment will be not related to the resources which you have in the another compartment that here we'll be building the two database servers though let's say i will call this compartment as database
Okay, it will take the. Let's refresh our page. Okay, compartment database is created. Now, the next step in the building the network is to creating virtual cloud network. Okay, now, now we have compartment. Now, within this compartment, we have to set virtual cloud network. Within that virtual cloud network, we'll, in, we'll add the servers. Now, virtual cloud network will create for us the network infrastructure, which will set the IP address of the network, will set the routing rules, security rules, and from the virtual cloud network, you will be able to manage and configure the network layer and connectivity to the servers and from the servers to outside. So going to, to set up the virtual cloud network, we're going to networking, virtual cloud networks. Now we're selecting the compartment where we want to create the virtual cloud network and we have two options. We can create virtual cloud network and build this manually or we can use the wizard which will install the all the component for us. For this purpose I will use the wizard and here we can set up the VCN with internet connection or with the site VPN. For us we're gonna use the internet connection okay the message on the tab will show you if you have available resources if you have a brand new account then you will create in the first VCN now VCN name I'm gonna call this VCN database compartment database and my CDAR, I will put 1010.5.0 slash 24. Configure the public network. I'm gonna put 1010.5.0 slash 27. Slash 27 has 32 hosts. I will have just two hosts in this subnet that those two database servers will be sitting in the public network and configure the private subnet 1010.532.27 okay and now i'm creating two subnet now what is the difference between the public and private the public network public subnet will have access to the public network interface through the internet gateway or and not that means if you if we will have an internet gateway we will be able to communicate down to the servers through the public ip the private network the private network is the private okay the private network don't have access to the public directly and you cannot access from public to the private directly you the private network are completely isolated to going to public going to outside you have to use the uh, NAT gateway okay what we have configured okay what we will have it will have an internet gateway setup security list setup and the routing table okay create okay and let's see the view vcn Okay, like I said, the process of creating the VCN is uh, quick using the wizard. It's creating all major components which you need. Uh, one digression here is that we don't have a NAT gateway and we don't have a service gateway. Uh, this account which I'm doing the demo is uh, after three days uh, trial period when you will be creating your network. 
which in first 30 days you will have a NAT gateway and service gateway. In some situations I see that after 30 days or 60 days the NAT gateway or service day gateway is reclaimed back from uh, Oracle and it's removed from my network. That's why I'm not relying in the when I'm using the always free tier, I do not rely in the configuration on the NAT gateway and service gateway. That's why everything will set using the public subnet and internet gateway. That our servers will have a public IP. That for the purpose of this exercise, for the purpose of the setting up the learning and setting up the test environment, this is perfect. Uh, environment for us to exercise.